The Miami Dolphins won't start training camp until late July and once camps open around the league, trades will inevitably happen. In many cases, trades become rather rare in the NFL during the offseason between the ending of OTAs and mini camps to the start of training camps. Once camps open, trades become more likely as injuries around the league occur or a team realizes they need more depth. Throughout camp and into the exhibition season, coaches and executives manage the rosters with a microscope. Every practice is scrutinized in the offices of the team's staff. All to get the roster down to an eventual 53-man team, that is when teams begin exploring their trade options with more urgency. All teams are equal in record and a loss in the preseason could showcase a weakness that some teams may want to get corrected as soon as possible. That is when the phones begin to ring. Chris Greer is no slouch when it comes to manning the phone lines and maximizing trades. So could this year be any different? Could Miami make some trades before the season starts? Absolutely is the right answer. The Dolphins themselves could look to add to their own roster after identifying weaknesses on the roster but for now, we look at three players that could be an option for another team. Miles Gaskin has done well for the Miami Dolphins but his time could be coming to an end, there is nothing wrong with Miles Gaskin's wheels. He isn't overused, run down, and still has a lot to offer another team but in Miami, he could be the victim of a numbers game that doesn't fall in line with this team, as is the case more often than not, players that were not added under a new regime are eventually replaced. For Mike McDaniel, that could come quickly in the running back room. McDaniel is a run game guy and there was attention paid to the unit. A unit that hasn't produced well over the years, we can blame the offensive line for a lot of that, Chase Edmonds, Sony Michel, Raheem Mostert, and even Zaquandra White could push Gaskin out of Miami. Gaskin has value and because of that, then running back needy team could view him as an option to add depth to their team. Trading for him would keep him on his current salary and eliminate any competition in a free agent market. Gaskin isn't going to bring in a top draft pick, more likely a seventh at best but he could potentially be a part of a player swap that would make sense for both teams. Adam Shaheen has played well when his number has been called but this year, the number called could be Chris Greer's. Miami is once again deep at the tight end position and while it is possible that Mike Gesicki could be on the trade block, even if it is only a case of, we will listen if someone calls, it is highly unlikely. That cannot be said about Shaheen, a lot of this will depend on how well Hunter Long progresses. Gesicki, Durham Smythe, and Long are expected to be the three core members of the unit. And keeping four tight ends may not be an option for the Dolphins, Teams around the NFL could always use quality tight ends and Shaheen is exactly that. Shaheen is likely to draw fewer calls than Gaskin might but we can't rule out the possibility given the fact that Shaheen has done well. In his two years with Miami, Shaheen has a 12.5 and 9.2 yards per catch average on 24 total receptions. He can block but isn't going to blow anyone away with it. There is value for a team not wanting to wait around to see if he is released when Miami cuts to their final 53. The chances of Teddy Bridgewater being traded by the Miami Dolphins is nearly zero but as long as quarterbacks can get injured, one can be traded. When looking at the NFL landscape of quarterbacks, Jimmy Garoppolo and Baker Mayfield are the two players being watched closely this offseason. Both are tradable but both are going to be a little more expensive, in Miami, there is Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgewater is the backup plan to a failed Tua Tagovailoa season but if Tua is progressing and the phone rings. Don't think for a minute that Greer doesn't take that call. He has starting experience and can lead a team. For the Dolphins, a trade would save over $4 million in cap space while eating only $2 million but his contract is a one-year deal and any team who loses their quarterback in camp could be pushing the panic button. One person to watch through all of this, however, is Skylar Thompson. The Dolphins drafted him in round 7 and if he can show improvement through the camp, the Dolphins could put their faith in Tua and rely on Thompson. A rookie to hold the clipboard. It would eliminate any question marks about Tua and starting games this season, in reality, Bridgewater is pretty much untouchable. I know that. This isn't a throwaway third player though. The Dolphins don't have a lot of tradable assets but Bridgewater is definitely one of them and if an offer is made, Greer would have the upper hand in that deal, will it happen? I would venture to put that around 99.9% .9 not happening but as long as he is healthy and another team needs a starting quarterback. There is a possibility.